we're now going to find the asymptotes of a hyperbola. And the asymptotes are found by taking advantage of the fact that as we get closer and closer to the positive or negative infinity on whichever variable it is in the direction that we're going, whichever one is positive, that it's going to get closer and closer to a straight line that measures or closes in the hyperbola. So here's the derivation. We're going to start with x squared minus over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals 1. And we're going to solve this for y. So we first start by moving the x squared minus a squared over the other side, change all the signs, multiply by b squared, rewrite this as a fraction, so we get x squared over a squared, so we can factor that out, and then we take the square root of both sides and we get this plus minus bx over a times the square root of 1 minus a squared over x squared. And this looks pretty nasty because of that piece right there. But something cool happens when we let this get bigger and bigger. As x gets bigger and bigger, because a is a constant, this gets closer and closer to 0. For instance, if we take 1 divided by 100, we get a small number. As it goes to 1,000, it gets smaller. It goes to a million, it gets smaller. So the bigger this number gets, the closer and closer to zero this gets, and when we get out to infinity, then this is going to go to zero, so this whole piece disappears, and the answer is that our asymptotes are found at y equals plus or minus b over a x. We can ignore that square root piece completely. These are the asymptotes. So it's simply the number under the y divided by the number under the a is the slope on this linear equation, and there's a positive version and a negative version of it. So let's use that to find it. So here's our equation, y squared over 4 minus x squared over 9 equals 1. This means b is 2, and a is 3, because we take the square root, and just take the positive version. That means y is equal to plus or minus 2 thirds x. And here are my asymptotes for this line, for this hyperbola.